Hey everyone, it's Natalie. So these are going to be my January favorites for this month. So I didn't do a December favorites, actually. I just realized that. Or December. But, yeah, a lot of these products are kind of just products that are very easy, fast to apply. Uh, this month, I've been kind of busy with school, having a lot of, like, projects and stuff like that to work on. And I haven't been really, like, taking the time to do my makeup. I'm just like, put on eyeshadow, go. Put on blush, go. Put on mascara, go. Okay, go out the door. So just really quick, fast products and things that I like. So the first are these Milani items. I got these from the CVS sale they're having. They might still be having, but a lot of the products might be sold out because it's been going on for a little while now. But a lot of their items are 75% off. So uh, if you haven't gone, you should go check it out, see if they still have some stuff left. But these are the Black Magic um, liner and eye limer pencils. So it has on one side, like, kind of like a cream glitter type thing. And on the other side, it has a dark liner. And I really like the liner part. The glitter part, it's kind of like the NYX uh, cream glitter palettes, the glitter. So, I don't know. It doesn't apply that well, and I don't feel like I would use that that much anyway. But I love the liner side. So I have this one. It's called Black and Green, Black and Blue, and Black and Pink. They are very creative with their names, aren't they? So, <laughs> they look like this. And, I'm not sure if you can tell the colors. But, this one is a really dark, deep forest green. This one is a dark uh, navy color. This one is a dark maroon. And, I've really been using these a lot lately. If I'm doing, let's say, like a green eyeshadow look, then I'll be putting the dark green on the lower lash line. If I'm doing, like, purple or cranberry look, then I'll put the dark maroon color right here on the lower lash line. Just kind of to give you a different feel rather than instead of putting like a black or dark brown on my lower lash line, most of the time I like to put the dark color just because, I don't know, I like how it looks. And they glide on really easily. I already did a swatch. I tried filming this once and it didn't happen. So that's why that, sorry there. But they glide on really easily, just without any pressure. You know, they're pretty dark. And they do last a long time on me. I've worn these all day, and they're still there. The only thing is they're not completely, like, smudge-proof or waterproof, so you may need to set them. When I set my liners, I don't put eyeshadow directly on top of them. I'll put, like, an eyeshadow, like, close to my skin tone or, like, a lighter type eyeshadow, like, right underneath the liner. And then that helps so the eyeshadow doesn't go, or so the eyeliner doesn't go down. So I'd recommend doing that. But I really do like them. They're very pretty. Uh, they're like, kind of like a really dark metallic color. So like really dark green, really dark navy. But yeah, they give like a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. And I like those. And then I also like this Milani Minerals blush. And this is color right here. Sorry that the lamp's like washing everything out. This is the blush in Luminous. And I really like this. Uh, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. Like some shimmer in it. But just kind of give me a little bit of color real quick just to put right here. I've been doing my blush more with like a lighter hand lately. Just, I don't know. Just to change it up, I guess. <laughs> but I like it because it has, yeah, a little bit of a shimmer. So it gives you a little bit of glow, but then kind of warms up your face. So that's like a, it's like candid coral, but I would say it's a little bit more pink to me, I think. I don't know. I should probably go look at candid coral to actually compare it. I like that one as well. Next item is this Avon uh, Marbleized Bronzer. And this one's in Bronze Peach. So it's one of those products that has like swirls in it. You can blend it together. It's kind of as if they took the e.l.f. Uh, blush and bronzer duo and then swirled it all together. <laughs> That's what it's like for me. But I really like it because it has the bronzer in it. That kind of gives you a little bit of that soft brown effect so you can use it to like contour but then it has the peach color which is really pretty and gives you a little bit of a sheen so it's just nice to kind of put in this area to warm up your face real quick but it's not really overpowering and I actually got that my mom and sister were selling Avon and I think they made a double order accidentally ordered all the Avons like twice or all the yeah items twice and then we just kept that. We paid for it, and she's like, do you want this? I already paid for it. I was like, okay, but I really like it, so I'm glad we did. Uh, next are these 
right here. Um, the color tattoos by Maybelline. So I like this one right here, the Bad to the Bronze metallic bronze color, and the toughest taupe. This is like a matte grayish taupe. These are great, just put all over the lid. You know, if you're in a rush, put all over your lid, then blend it out right here in the crease, put on some liner mascara, and then you're good to go. So I like these a lot. I also did a tutorial with both of these, so if you want to check that out, you should go see it. And then this lipstick right here by Revlon. I got this on sale, so I hope they still sell it because I, I would feel bad for telling you guys something that they don't sell anymore. This is in the lip uh, color red. Oh, this is in the shade soft rose. I'm like messing up so bad right now. And it's a really pretty uh, rose cream lipstick. It doesn't have any shimmer to it. And I'm wearing it right now. I like this because it's a good everyday color. It's not really dark. It's just right for me. I don't like to wear really nude lipsticks too much. I like to wear things that are a little bit on the pink or coral or peach side just to give my lips a little bit of color so they'll stand out. My lips by themselves, like I don't know if you guys have noticed during like tutorials, if I don't have anything on my lips at all they're pretty pale and I can look like not alive. So I like to give a little bit of color so I really like this lipstick. It's great. Uh, the lipstick, I'm not sure why this is, it is a little bit drying if I do wear it by itself, but when I use this item right here, that's another one of my favorites, uh, underneath and then put the lipstick on, it's okay. This is one of the EOS lip balms, so it's in, you know, this funky brown packaging. I really like it, it's really good for like, you know, keeping my lips hydrated and soft and yeah, to put underneath, like if I'm going to wear lipstick, I know lipstick's kind of dry, but I really love the packaging of it, so it's, you know, this round thing. As Miss Kwamarathi says, it looks like a, and it never tells me it was what it looks like, but I like how it's round, so if you like throw it in your purse or backpack, and then you're trying to find stuff, like reaching your bag, but you're not looking in there, you can find it, because it's a round shape, and I don't know about you, but I don't have other things in my bag that are round like this, so that's kind of convenient, and the packaging too, you know, you don't have to worry about, like the lettering getting rubbed off, whereas something like this, so it has the gold lettering, there's nothing to really rub off on here, so the packaging is still going to continue to look pretty good as well, even if it's getting tossed around. Uh, then I finally got this, and <laughs> Brianna will be like, I told you to get it, Natalie. <laughs> it's the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer, uh, and this is in the shade Light Medium. I actually think I need to get the next lightest one, because this uh, concealer shade right here, it works good for some parts of my face, like if I use it around my nose or, um, I forget what someone called this, my little strawberry thing someone said. Right here I have like a birthmark, so if I use it right here around my nose then it's fine, but if I try to use it right here on my face, then it's too dark. So I guess I need like two color concealers. But it's really creamy, it blends really well, and it lasts really well, um, you know, once you set it with the powder. So I like this a lot. And the next thing, or the last thing, is this lotion by Bath & Body Works. This I got when they were selling these. Um, it was only a dollar, because it was before they'd come out with all of uh, their, like, summer spring scents. But now they have all the stuff out, so now this is more. It's the Rubik Coconut Lotion, and it just, you smell it, it smells like summer. Like, I want to go to the beach and, like, go swimming and go eat a popsicle when it's all. It's just really, yeah, like tropical and makes me think of summer and fresh and I love the scent. And I will probably be getting like all the other stuff they have for this as well. Like the body spray and the bigger thing of lotion and whatnot because I really like the scent of it. So those are all my items uh, for my January favorites. Uh, leave any questions or comments down below and I will talk to you guys next time.